You're such an asshole! Old Captain is just gonna play video games later tonight. Yes, I am drinking a girl's cup of coffee. All the other coffee cups are they're coffee coffee cups. Wow. Okay, sobriety sucks. All right, hey Aaron, I hope you're doing well. I love your videos. I'm 27 years old and a former volunteer firefighter EMT in North Carolina. <clears throat> I spent the first five years of out of high school getting all my firefighting certifications and my associate's applied science degree in fire protection technology. Unable to find a lot of full-time employment opportunities. I started going back to school, studied pre-business, while working full-time in a shitty job to help support myself. I transferred to a public university for a year before deciding that I hated it. I was hoping I could learn to enjoy it and concentrate on MIS or accounting, but couldn't take the tedious work anymore. I found it all to be mind-numbing and dropped out midway through my junior year. I accepted a job with a fire protection company uh, doing things. I, I want to keep it somewhat anonymous here. Uh... I've never been very book smart and I've taken several IQ tests to put me around the 105 range. I managed a 3.55 GPA through college, but that was really putting effort into it. As of now, I'm almost two years into my trade and went from making $13 an hour, $19 an hour, I've been promoted uh, to a position. Uh, I know I do not want to be crawling around attics every day when I'm 40 plus years. What's wrong with that? I, you can stay in shape like me. I've been contemplating my next career move. If I take a look around at the peers I work with, most are overweight, smoke, there's irony, and have a narrow mindset in life and joy does not please me. I was debating whether I should just go ahead and finish my general management degree online just to satisfy HR with their degree required nonsense, but I have also seen, been considering Seth Himes' digital marketing course. There you go. Yeah, Seth Himes, man. Uh, it's not going to hurt you. You don't have to be present there. And now, as for my question, I found an online business program that costs 160 per credit hour that I could take part time while I continue to work. However, I only need 36 more credit hours, 12 classes to finish my bachelor's in administration from university. But because I would have to transfer to another college for an online program, they're trying to say I need an additional 19 credit hours just to meet the general ed requirements, in which consist of bullshit. Oh no, no, no! I would go where you need you need your um. Wait. Found an online program that costs 160 per credit hour. I take while working part time. However, online, I only need 36 more credit hours, 12 classes to finish my bachelor's degree at the university. But because I would have to transfer to another college for the online program, they say I need an additional 19 credit hours just to meet the general ed requirement. Blah, blah, blah. I know it's a bullshit management degree, but with my combined experience and certification, I figure it would please the HR. <clears throat> Should I consider powering through degree the degree to get that check mark while I continue building skills in my trade? Or do you think it would be a complete waste of time and money? So many management job offices won't even consider you without a degree unless you have connections. Part of me thinks I need to, and another part of me thinks it's a waste of money. I'm at the age now that if I don't finish a bachelor's degree, I never will, but I'm also sure if, if it would benefit wouldn't I'm also not sure if it would benefit me in the long run. I have read a lot of good things about Seth Himes, digital marketing course, yes. But parts of me still worries that not completing a bachelor's degree is something that could hurt me in the long run. I, <clears throat> no, I mean, yeah, it's hurting you now, but so fucking what? You're going to go get a bachelor's degree and not get promoted anyway? Uh, financial situation, okay. God almighty. And you got a car loan, great, great. Then I asked you if you have the temerity, and then you wrote this. Just to clarify, I don't particularly hate the job I'm working for now. Recruiters message me on LinkedIn on a regular basis for potential jobs in the trade, and it is at least related to what I originally went to community college for, and has nothing to do with firefighter EMT anymore. However, I'm simply wanting to figure out which route to take in terms of getting promoted in the future. I know I can make around $25 an hour as a, the next level up in the long run without factoring in the extra hours of overtime, but that isn't my end goal. I have always had a great work ethic, and in terms of making it in any trade, you really have no competition, as my boss frequently complains about finding people that will show up for work on time, can pass a drug test to take care of the physical appearance and be professional like myself. <laughs> Could be grooming you for management. 
I should have looked into taking a job within my company as an outside sales rep. My manager said, no, don't do it. Um, much rather you get more years of field experience. Get a job as an operations manager. My manager says he knows I am not like the average roughneck that comes through here and doesn't see me turning wrenches and pipe fitting the rest of my career like a lot of my coworkers. But in order to successfully perform those jobs, I would need a few more years of experience. I'm, I'm inclined to agree with them. After talking a lot with the office guys, I know they get a base salary equivalent to what a field tech makes, which is around forty-five to 60000 a year, depending on experience. However, after bonuses and commissions, an inbound sales service guy will make anywhere. Don't do sales. I don't know. No. And that's what they say they make. I don't, I don't. I don't like sales. Plus, unlike other trades, ours is the most recession-proof. As for your question regarding my willingness to drive into a major in accounting, IT, etc., the answer is definitely no. Although I managed to get A's in the two accounting classes I took in college, it took all my will not to stab myself in the eye with a pencil. And I know it would suck at it as a career. Experiment with learning how to code through Quincy Larson's free code camp. Learn the basics of HTML and CSS. But would probably just pay someone to create a website for me if ever need be as learning curve is high. This is also around the time I came across digital marketing for Matt Tran and Seth Himes YouTube videos that thought would be possibly the right balance of technology and creativity for me. My logical mind tells me that getting a degree is something other in something other than accounting, engineering, nursing, or IT is a waste of time over society continues to God dude, you fucking write forever. You need to take a writing course and be succinct. This is why I had to charge you extra. However, society continues to tell us that you have to have a bachelor's degree to make more than 50000 a year, despite the fact that my district manager has probably made close to 150000 after private chair, and I'm pretty sure he started out as a field guy and didn't even go to college. Was he just lucky? Yes, he was. Right place at the right time? Yes, it's called the baby boomer generation, most spoiled fucking generation ever. Could it be his brash demeanor? Is it not? No, no. Well, there's. it could be his personality, too. But yeah, dude, back in the day... You were hired on merit, not whether or how many pieces of paper or letters you had behind your name. I personally hate the uncertainty of not finishing my bachelor's degree, but feel it may be better to continue to try and teach myself through unconventional methods like Seth's digital marketing course, which is only $100 a month while I continue to gain experience and work as a fireman. Blah, blah, blah. The company I work for is this. I'm not going to mention it. They pay you full benefits for 1K, company vehicle, Christmas bonus. Okay, I keep you anonymous. All right. Um, here's the deal, dude. Get rid of this emotion in psychology. Oh my, my God, I don't have a bachelor's degree. I don't have a bachelor's degree. I don't have a bachelor's degree. Oh. Fuck your bachelor's degree for right now, okay? Just fuck it. It'll be there. Now, I, didn't, I couldn't make heads or tails of what you were talking about, about, like, you're going online, you're going to... Here's what I recommend you do. Go wherever it's going to take you the least amount of classes to get your bachelor's degree. I'm not against you getting your bachelor's degree, but you're going to do it part-time, and you're going to do it online. All right? There's no reason for you to waste your time. Even if it's less credits for you to get your degree, um, I would just do it online. All right? Now, if it's too much... Hang on. Found an online... I would shop around for a different online business degree. I would go to Western Governors University, ASU Online, find an accredited university that offers a business degree in management online. They're not the only ones. And this fucking bullshit where you need 19 extra credit hours to go through the same fucking gen ed requirements sounds like bullshit to me. If it's cheaper and less time to go to Charlotte, okay, but it's got to be enough cheaper and, and faster uh, to go to that. Like, do you have to commute? Do you have to go, you know, you got to, fuck. Do an analysis, find out where it's faster and cheapest to get your degree, part-time, okay? I would prefer you not commute, because it's not worth driving. That takes extra time, then you got to park, park and you got to deal with all that bullshit. Take it online, all right? Not if you got to work another 19 credit hours. So start shopping around. Western's Governor's University, ASU Online, find it, okay? Find a place where you can do your 36 credits and you're done with it. You're gonna do it part-time, you're gonna to continue to work because it sounds like you got a decent job now. And you're not dead yet. You're still in your 20s or something, your 30s, I don't know. You make it sound like 40s old. So I'm assuming you're younger. 
Um, and then what I would do in conjunction with taking a class or two online, as you slowly make your way towards earning your bachelor's degree, is I would test Seth Himes' digital marketing course. You might, might as well try it. Might as well try it. It's going to be cheaper than anything else. Um, he could probably get you work right away. You could do it part-time. You don't have to give up your job that you got now with your steady eddy and your insurance and your benefits and all that. So you keep that. In other words, you could do all three, continue to get your degree online, uh, go through Seth Himes' digital uh, marketing course, work part-time in digital marketing, and still do your regular job. It'll knock out some of this fucking debt you got that you shouldn't have gotten when you bought that car foolishly. Um... But you gotta you gotta stop worrying about the college because here's the thing you are right in both regards. It is a worthless degree. Management is a worthless degree. It doesn't teach you a skill. It's bullshit. You're not gonna use it. You know it'll help you get promoted maybe in your company and certainly other places because oh we need a bachelor's degree. But it is worthless. It is bullshit. It is not a real degree. So it'll open up some doors, but don't expect to make more than 50, 60, certainly not 60 grand with a management degree from some online university or some, you know, non-Harvard, non-U of Chicago uh, thing. So I would get it, but I would not make it the focus of your life. In other words, stop choking its neck. It's not that important, uh, especially given how worthless college degrees are becoming. So you pursue it very leisurely. I put more effort into Seth Himes' digital marketing course than I would that piece of shit degree. Uh, but if they're going to make you jump and play the game, oh, you got to get a degree, oh, you got to get a management. Uh, another thing, it sounds like you have a pretty good rapport with your boss. Why don't you go up to your boss and say, look, boss, I, I know i got to go spend some more time in the field. I don't want to get a management degree. It's worthless. Is there a way that I could get promoted? Like I work hard, work extra hours, or do some other thing, like a, an apprenticeship or an internship. I learn how to manage. I learn to do whatever the books or whatever it is that you want me to do instead of having to go and sit in front of some theoretician that's never worked a day in his or her life telling me about uh, diversity and hiring quotas and, and, and spending more to make more and that kind of shit. You might be able to get them like, yeah, yeah, you're right. We don't need, and then you can bypass HR. So it sounds like you got a good reputation or rapport with your boss. So sign up for one class a semester, maybe two, no more than two. Slowly make your way towards getting that fucking worthless piece of shit paper, all right? That'll scratch that itch. And then I would go and see if you can't like diversify and, and make a little bit of money through Seth Hines. Who knows, it may open up a whole new marketing career, a career for you and you may be excellent at it and you may excel, you make $100,000. Um, but then at minimum, I think it'd be like part-time income, you'll learn a little bit about marketing and then you could go ahead and pay off some of your student loans and your, your car debt. But yeah, then you keep working your daytime gig. Um, but inevitably, yeah, you're going to need a, a, a management degree, I guess, because you don't want to go and get another trade. And yeah, if your goal is to get into the management, you don't want to be, you're going to need a degree because that's the way the world works. But since everyone is just being all fuck off and like, let's just make everyone, let's just jump through the hoops and they're not going to promote you today or tomorrow. It's going to be two to three years. You might as well take your time getting it and try and your hands at a couple other things. So, all right, that's it. You guys got questions, captains, got answers, have some consulted.com. We got a lot more stuff to do. We'll see you guys later, tools.